Well, kiss my grits. Kinsey is getting married in a few hours. Congratulations, Kinsey. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Thank you for the notice to create a special video for you. It all worked out in perfect timing, as everything does, I believe. Um, because I was talking to my brother about this, and then I saw your message, and I was like, I haven't done my video yet, and I need to, and now... I have been asked to do something about positive anxiety because my friend's getting married and I imagine that, well I know that can cause a lot of anxiety. I just had another buddy get married and she was terrified. She was worried about, um, she doesn't like everyone looking at her and her family had kind of planned the whole wedding and so she felt like a lot of it wasn't even her deal and it was stressful. So um, yeah, positive anxiety, let's talk about that. Because I'm thinking about it too, because, so on one hand, I think that we can reframe anxiety at any minute. So we we tend to think of anxiety as a bad thing and we resist it and it doesn't feel comfortable. And it's usually because we're afraid like something's going terribly wrong here. Like there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with that person. There's something wrong with the situation. It sucks and I need to get away from it. But that's fueled by what we're thinking about. So I was thinking about it in the context of giving a public talk. I do public speaking a lot. And every time I real, I'm in anxiety, I used to think that was just normal. Like people are just anxious because you're about to go talk to a lot of other people. And they're all going to laugh at you, right? <laughs> that's what I realized my thinking was about. When I started to learn how to do this kind of work and look at what I was thinking and why I was feeling the way I was feeling and focus on how I might change that... I learned that I was feeling anxious before public speaking events because, well, for one thing, it was stretching me to grow. And if a marriage doesn't call you to, to grow, then I don't know what does. <laughs> so a lot of that is just that natural, healthy fear of like, boy, I'm really stepping into a whole new phase of my life. And isn't that great? Like just learning to soothe yourself by saying, this is going to be awesome. And it's fucking scary because I don't know how to do it. I've never been married to this person before. I've never talked to these people before. I've never done X, Y, or Z before, but I know that it's serving the highest vision for myself and for my life. So I'm all in. Um, but another thing that was making me feel anxious in, in the public speaking example was that I was telling myself all these scary thoughts about what if I mess up. What if they laugh at me? What if I sound stupid? What if I forget what I want to say? Dur, dur, dur. It was all centered on me in a negative way, like in, in like a selfish kind of, in an unhealthy, self-centered sort of way. And, and so it really helped me to reframe why I was showing up. So I don't just speak to hear myself talk. I speak because I'm sharing about my experience with homelessness, my hope that I found around recovery, um, so I'm like, okay, who, who am I serving today? How can I show up and just be the best version of myself? And I believe in a higher power that I call God sometimes. And it's like, all right, God wants to say something through me. I'm just here to let that happen. I'm just a channel. So by kind of stepping back and getting all that self-importance off of myself, um, I really calm down quite a bit and then it's way more fun. And, and so, yeah, there's things that are just scary to do because they're new and our brain is really still designed to just keep us safe and protected. And so it throws up these anxiety feelings um, when sometimes anxiety or that feeling is actually the call that we're on the right path. I think, you know, I'm going to feel terrified when I'm actually standing in front of my first big mural, my first solo mural. I mean, I, I get scared thinking about it. I get anxious drawing it. But I want to be a muralist. And, and I know that I could turn away from that fear and just be like, fuck it, it's too scary and keep living a boring, lame life. Not that my life is lame, but you know, it would get lame if I kept shying away from the things that scared me. The way we live an awesome life is we lean into that fear. We lean into that anxiety and you just think, I'm jumping. Like try to make it fun is how I think of it now. I, I tell myself little things like, ooh, this, this feeling means I'm on the right track. This feeling means this way to the good stuff. I've heard someone say it that way. Um, and it said before, and I think you can look at your life and prove that, that anything worth doing is scary. So you can just remember that and say, oh, the fact that I'm anxious and scared right now means that I'm heading towards something amazing. Um, like I've said in past videos, like we don't get nervous to come home and pig out in front of the TV because that's comfortable and too much um, false comfort like that for an extended portion of time ends up killing us slowly. It kills our soul <laughs> and it keeps us from our potential. So anything worth doing is scary. I think about the stuff that um, 
has gotten me where I am today that it seemed impossible at first. Like getting sober seemed impossible. I agonized for years over how would I do it? How would I feel? I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it is what I told myself. And when I decided to do it, I fucking jumped all in and it's turned out to be the best thing I've ever done with my life. One of them. So God, I'm so excited. Remember anxiety and fear can feel the same as excitement. Um, my other really good friend, Kelly, hi Kelly. <laughs> she said, it's like being on the roller coaster. And when you're climbing and you're up at the top and there's that feeling of like, holy shit, what have I done? Why did I do this to myself? But then it's also like, fuck yeah, let's go. So um, I just wish you all the happiness in all the world and just trust that there's a reason that you signed up for this and that it's going to be amazing some way or another. It's adding and enhancing and expanding your life. And that's a beautiful thing. That's why we're here. And that's what ultimately makes us feel really proud and um, excited about our lives. So get out there, kick ass, go be in love and think about what you can add to. If you're really terrified, just think, how can I be the best bride here? How can I serve? How can I just show up and do my best whatever it is you're going to do there. I don't know what kind of wedding you're having, but I hope you keep us posted. All right. I love you. Thank you all for watching. Go out and kick some ass. Don't be scared. Just be amazing. All right. You can be scared, but be amazing at the same time because you are. All right. Bye.